At last, gleams of light have come. Contrary to the opinion I started with, I am almost convinced that species are not, it is like confessing to a murder, immutable. I think I have found, here's presumption, the simple way by which species become adapted to new ends. To Emma, in case of my sudden death, I have just finished this sketch of my species theory. If true, as I believe, it will be a considerable step in science. My most solemn last request is that you devote 400 pounds to its publication. There is grandeur if you look at every organic being as the lineal successor of some other form now buried under thousands of feet of rock, or else as a co-descendant with that buried form from some other inhabitant of this world, more ancient still, now lost. Out of famine, death, and struggle for existence comes the most exalted end. We are capable of conceiving creation of the higher animals. Our first impulse is to disbelieve. How could any secondary law produce organic beings, infinitely numerous, characterized by most exquisite workmanship and adaptation? Easier to say, a creator designed each. But there is a simple grandeur in this view that life with its power to grow, to reach, feel, reproduce, diverge, was breathed into matter in a few forms first, and maybe only one. To say that while this planet has gone cycling on according to fixed laws of gravity, from so simple an origin, through selection of infinitesimal varieties, endless forms most beautiful, wonderful have been and are being evolved.